So here in the restaurant, we use a lot of tuna. We have a section in the menu dedicated to bluefin tuna. So in this case, we have farmed tuna uh, as well from Spain, from the Mediterranean. In these fisherman towns, like they've been eating tuna forever. It's like opening a present, you know. It seems that only raw tuna is possible in Japanese cuisine. Like the Iberian pork of the sea. And now what we are trying to do is showcase that in Spain we have really good tuna. I will say with Japan the best in the world. This tuna was alive three days ago and then they ship it overnight. I want to do it myself because with the little, you know, like scraps, I chop it a little bit, salt, olive oil and I have a snack. The skin is really hard, so look at this, look at all of the fat infiltrated. I, I think it has a lot of resemblance with the pork. We say that from the pork we even use the way of the walk, meaning that we use every single part of the pork. With the tuna it's kind of the same. So what we do is we do like a sashimi style cut uh, that is going to be this wide. You know. It's gonna go to the super freezer. It's gonna be minus 70 degrees uh, Celsius. And this is the way we, we can keep the tuna frozen for a year. We do something different with the tuna that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Actually, it's one of our most popular dishes here, tuna porterhouse. We call it like that because it's the whole uh, section cut of the tuna. This is a carpaccio, right? So the, the best way to make a carpaccio, obviously, is uh, from frozen. Uh, it would be impossible to have a, a straight cut so thin if, if it was fresh. We showcase all of the parts from the toro to toro and akami. We get the, the whole cut and then we cut it in smaller pieces so it's easier to, to put in the ugly slicer and then put it back into pieces like if it was a puzzle. You're not going to be able to, to tell the cuts when it's covered with olive oil so it looks, it looks the actual whole cut. It's a very like a dramatic dish since it's so big. We add the, the saltiness, we add the olive oil, our liquid gold, and that's it. We don't do anything else. And that's the porterhouse. <laughs> <laughs>